In this video, I will show you how to insert a pre-recorded audio file so that you can add some intro music to a slide or insert background music if you'd like. If you're inserting music clips, just make sure that you're allowed to use them, meaning make sure that they are public domain. Programs like Camtasia also have music tracks built in that you can use in your recording projects. You can also record your own music using programs like GarageBand. And this is what I have done for the two clips that we will insert for the title and summary screens for this example course. So if you don't already have a music clip ready to insert here, go and record one now using GarageBand or a similar program, or find a public domain audio clip that you'd like to use for your title and for your summary screens. They should be about nine seconds long each, nine or 10 seconds. Okay, so now we will go and insert these music clips into the title and summary screens. So we're already on the title screen right now. So all you really have to do is go up to insert, which we're at right now, and go to audio and go to audio from file and then navigate to where you want to be. So I already have the location. It's kind of long, so I just copied and pasted in there. So this is my audio file that I'm going to insert for the juggling course. I'm going to use the same audio for the title and the summary screens, but you can use different ones if you'd like. And then I just click open and it will insert the audio clip automatically into the timeline. So that's all you really need to do. It already expanded it to about nine seconds because that's how long it is. And then we can preview it. So just go up here to preview this slide. And there we go. So one thing we might want to do is adjust the volume of this. So right click on the audio clip and go to edit audio. And you can see that it's quite loud. There's a lot of spikes here. We want to reduce that. So go to volume and we're going to decrease it. So we'll slide it this way, maybe about 10% to start just to see what it looks like. Okay, let's do a little more than that. Maybe another 20%, let's go 30%. Okay, maybe a tiny bit more. So it's just trial and error, let's try that. So I'll save and close. And then we'll go preview that again because we don't want it to be overpowering. Still a little bit loud, so I'm going to decrease that a tiny bit more. About another 20%. Save and close. So it's whatever you would like, but usually we want to keep it not overpowering, especially if you have audio narration over the music, whereas ours won't, so it's not as big of a concern. There, I think that's better. All right, so that one's done. Now, if we like the way that this one turned out and we want it to be the same as the other one, we can just copy this and then paste it into the summary slide. But if you have a different audio clip, you would have to insert it from scratch again. So because I'm using the same audio clip, I'm just going to right click and go to copy. And then I'm going to navigate in the story view to the summary slide. And then I'm going to just come over here anywhere and just control V to paste. And it inserts it right there. So now let's preview this one.
There we go. So that's done. So in the next video, we will look at how to polish your online course by inserting slide transitions and entrance and exit animation effects.